Hello guys, welcome to Mo's channel. Today I'm going to talk about my journey, how I started from the beginning till today, how I completed my two years of my master's degree here in JNU. So many people think that it's my first time here um, in JNU, but not really. Actually, I first started uh, in 2017. when I finished my BA degree from University of Delhi. So when I finished my degree, um, I had an option of uh, studying in JNU or work. So that time I was actually um, working um, in, in the company. And uh, by the time I got to know about the admissions in JNU, unfortunately the time passed and I passed the admission deadline. So I had an option of studying as a casual student, not, not as a regular student, but a casual student. So what casual student means to study here for a period of six months. And it was also a good opportunity for me to get to know the campus, get to know the course I'm gonna be applying for. And it's like more, more like auditing, auditing the course. So I applied for a six months uh, study period in the same course that I finished uh, MA in International Relations. So I started my journey in uh, July 2017. Um, I finished all through all the way through uh, December of 2017. Um, actually, if you're a casual student, you can uh, study for a period of uh, one year, which is two semesters. But I just uh, felt one semester was enough for me to audit the course. So all the way through, I finished my um, um, six months, and then I left uh, JNU in December of 2017. After that, I started working for some time, for almost a period of two years, until uh, I went back to my country uh, for some time. And again, uh, in um, July of 2019, I again came back to JNU, but this time, obviously, as a regular student. So, JNU, for me, was actually a plan B. My plan A was first to go to Canada. I actually applied uh, to a college over there called Seneca College, which is located in Toronto. And uh, I got accepted, all my um, admission formalities was complete, and I was only left with uh, one step, which was to apply for the visa. So I applied for the visa, I um, submitted all the required documents, and I was waiting for it. Unfortunately, while waiting for the uh, visa, I got an uh, email saying that my visa was re rejected. And the main reason was that the Canadian authorities were not convinced that I will come back to my country after I finish my study period. So then again, I applied for the visa, but this time with more uh, documents to support my application. But uh, unfortunately, again, the same thing happened. I, uh, my visa was again rejected, this time stating uh, the same reason that we're not convinced you'll come back to your country after you finish your study period. They give me a chance, maybe you'll come back. Yeah. Moving on, that same time, um, JNU uh, also uh, sent me an admission uh, proposal and um, I uh, accepted the admission proposal and uh, I only had to do was uh, um, pack my bags. But of course, before that, go to the Indian Embassy and apply for a visa. So in a matter of three days, I got my Indian visa from the Indian Embassy and then uh, I had to do was um, book my flight ticket and come to India. So I landed um, um, to India on 25th of July 2019. And this is my second time in JNU. So when I came here second time, again, I knew most of the, the Daba culture, I knew most of the centers, because if you're a new student over here and you're in JNU for the first time, I guarantee you, you will get lost. Here is like a huge maze so many places to go all the ro roads look similar and they are green and the buildings also look the same so luckily for me i learned my lesson the first time so when i was here a second time uh luckily i purchased myself a vehicle i was roaming around i knew most of the uh building locations i just had to go attend my, my, my first classes uh get updated with the timetable and start my, my classes now if most of you want to ask me how i got accepted so for foreign students, we are accepted to JNU through two ways. One way is through the common interest exam, where just like you guys, uh, we write the exam and whoever makes it uh, is lucky. And the other way is called through in absentia. Now in absentia means that you apply 
from your home country, you got to send your, your documents. So you just have to send your documents and if uh, the, the authority uh, that decides for uh, admission, if they're um, satisfied with the documents, then they send you an admission uh, letter. So I applied through the in absentia uh, way where I had to just send my documents and I had to wait for a few months until I, get, uh, until I got my admission letter and uh, then I came here to uh, India. So when I came, I came of course in July and it's just like this month, just like today, it was humid. Humid as um, because you feel this uh, melting sensation, you feel this uh, stickiness and it rains but it's not really that uh, constant, it just rains maybe uh, once or twice in, in, in a week. So I came in the sticky weather and um, at that time I was staying with my friend in a place called uh, Greater Kalash GK. I really wasn't ready to move into campus but then sooner I realized that it got hard to uh, commute uh, from South Delhi all the way coming to uh, JNU because GK is, is a bit far from here. So then I was contemplating, I was thinking maybe I should uh, move into university residence that can make my life easier. For, or for example, if I, if I get sleepy, if I want to take a, a short nap, I, will, I can come back to my room or I can eat, um, I can take uh, uh, some meals at the residence. So it would make my life easier. So then I applied for um, university residence and I moved in here. I would say it was a bit uncomfortable at first because I wasn't used to it. But as time passed by, uh, it, uh, I got used to it and um, it kind of became normal for me. I was also lucky to have a roommate who was also from South Korea. So I learned a lot from him, he learned a lot from me. We stayed together as a roommate. Moving on, uh, living in campus is really something great if you're an international student because you get to meet lots of people, lots of international students, lots of uh, local students. You meet um, new people almost every day and there's al always there's always something happening in campus either it could be a gathering could be a debate or you could um, be having a party in some place so there's always something happening in campus and I would really recommend or suggest people to actually move in campus because you get to live the whole experience of a JNU because JNU is a campus and you got to live the campus life to get to know the real JNU if you stay outside as a Day scholar, you just come for a few hours and again go back. You won't really have fun. Or if you come and you want to and you are enjoying time with your friends, then you be the one who will have to leave at the end of the night. But your friends just have to go to the hostel, and that's it. So it's much better uh, if you ask me to stay in campus as compared to outside. Moving on, if you ask me how I would sum up my my two years master's degree, I would say one semester normal life three semesters in my room because um when i, when I came first semester everything was normal i was in uh, july of 2019 all the way to december so in december i went went to my country for a short winter break and then i came back when i came back it wasn't the same there were uh, student protests going on we had a fee hike protest and so there was no normalcy in campus uh, things were closed shut almost everywhere and there were protests everywhere and then two months when the new year started 2020 we all know what happened corona happened so corona came in march and um, uh, we were asked to uh, go back to our home countries uh, every place was shut um, the campus was basically a ghost town i mean what was left was just 10 percent of what usually happens in this campus so uh, i was one of the f uh, few people who stayed back in campus with amongst other uh, among other uh, international students uh, most of the local students went back to their home states because they can go but for us going back to our country means coming back is going to be so hard so i stayed back here with a few friends and i felt like I really can use this time for my own uh, uh, cause, for my own benefit. Because it's like a huge campus and there's no one, empty streets and like forest, dense forest cover everywhere. So it gives you time to think 
you know about your, your life where you're going it gives you time to think about uh, what you're gonna do next in life so it was a much needed break from society you can say living in this campus amongst this uh, pandemic and this lockdown so I really enjoyed it if you ask me most people got depressed most people didn't like it because they were alone but for me I really liked this um, lockdown it was really much needed break and then moving on six months when the, six months later when the first pandemic uh, uh, came slowly uh, gradually uh, normal started to come back students started to come back in phases first the PhD students came then the MPhil students start to come back, then the MS students. So slowly, in a different, um, according to your degree level, people started coming back to campus. And then I'm like, nah, why are people coming back? I was really enjoying the, the lonely life, you know, for a little bit. It was only eight to nine months later, that's when uh, the tabas and the restaurants and the markets, the small, small shops started to open. The main market was open, which is called Casey Market but other uh, the, the small shops were closed at that time. And uh, moving on, um, at the same time, we were asked to attend online classes and we were asked to submit uh, online um, assignments. So everything was done through the online portal. So as I said, uh, uh, gradually normalcy came back to campus. Students started to come back. Uh, but um, of course, uh, talking about classes, classes are not going to happen anytime soon there was an article that said that maybe till December of this year classes won't happen so all the new batches if you're look, looking forward to attend classes I cannot say much but for now it's mostly online classes and if you're one of those people who don't like online classes like me then welcome on board otherwise you have no other choice uh, now I'm in the phase of collecting my, my transcript and my degree and then uh, soon I'll be uh, bound uh, uh, to go back to my, my country after um, studying in JNU for the second time, uh, finishing my master's degree in international relations. Now, if you want to know about what I studied in international relations, that's a, a topic for another video. For now, I would like to um, conclude this video by saying that um, overall journey in JNU has been great. If you're an international student, as I said before in my other videos, don't think twice come here study enjoy two years of your life and um, if you watch still here thank you. you you're a great uh person and i appreciate it and uh thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next video and have a good day